Good morning and welcome to Golden Gates World Outreach Ministries. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it together. For the next hour or so, we welcome you to our broadcast. Now, the service is about to begin. And we will be joining them in the sanctuary in just a few moments. But do us a kind favor, begin to share the broadcast even now. Let's be a blessing to as many people as possible. We realize you have a choice in where you can serve and where you can enjoy the worship experience on a Sunday morning. We're just glad you've chosen us. Guess what? There is a blessing in store for you today. You'll remember I said so. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. again your scripture reading from this morning is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 5 verses 24 through 29 and ye said behold the Lord our God has showed us his glory and his greatness and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire we have seen this day that God thou talk of man and he liveth now therefore why should we die for his great fire will consume us if we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more than we shall die for who is there of all flesh that have heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have and lived? 
Go thou near and hear all that the Lord our God shall say. And speak thou unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we shall hear it and do it. And the Lord heard the voice of your words, and when ye spake unto me, and the Lord said unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken unto thee. They have well said all that they have spoken. O oh, that there was such a heart in them, that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Here ends the reading of the word. redeemed of the Lord. Good morning, blood-bought saints. Good morning, delivered people. Hallelujah. I normally would say, I don't know what you come here for. I come to praise the Lord, but I believe I'm not the only one who came here to praise the Lord. I came here to praise and glorify the wonderful name of Jesus. Is, is he awesome to you? Is he worthy to you? Is he awesome? Is he great? Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we would have been defeated. We would have been destroyed. But it is because of the goodness of the Lord that we are not consumed. Hallelujah. Great is his faithfulness. This song simply says prayer is the key. It says praise is your weapon. It says worship is the wings to the promised land. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to worship. Hallelujah. And we're going to praise you for your awesome Great is thy faithfulness. I've come to declare that the loving kindness of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Would you look at someone and let them know Jesus loves you and so do I. Come on, let them know God loves you and so do I. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for the love of God this morning. Father, we are here to declare your faithfulness. We are here to declare your awesomeness. We are here to declare that only you are worthy. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The promised land. That's where the Lord is taking us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer is the key. Prayer. That unlocks the door.
Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. This is not an entertainment. I'm not here to entertain anybody. But we're here to bless him. Help me bless him. Help me. Help me bless the Lord. Help me. Help me bless him. Help me. Help me magnify him. Hallelujah. Light the glory. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Because it's all about you. Because it's all about you, Lord. Because it's all about you, Lord. Because it's all about you, Lord. Because it's all about you. Because it's all about you. Would you worship him with me? Would you worship him with me? It's all about him. It's all about you. I love you, Jesus. When the music fades and all is stripped away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required you search much deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart I'm coming I'm coming back to the heart of and it's all about you it's all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the thing I made it when it's all about you it's all about you Hallelujah, let's do verse two. King of endless worth. Come on, you're the king, king, king of endless worth. Oh, how much you deserve. Though I'm weak, though I'm weak, though I'm weak, though I'm weak and poor. All I have is yours. Every single breath. I'll give you more than a song. I'll bring you more than a song. For a song in itself. For a song in it's itself. not what you have required. It's not what you have required. You search much deeper within. You search much deeper within. Through the way things appear.
nothing else will do. <laughs> it's all about you. Ah, hey. Jesus, it's all about you. Nothing else will do. It's all about you. Jesus, one more time. All about you. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. It's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus. Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. It's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus. 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 the sound of worship. I love the sound of worship. Come on. That's it, Golden Gates. Y'all are there. I love it. Come on, come on. It's free worship time. Open up your alabaster box and pour it out on him. Oh, it's all about. Let's pour it on the Lord. It's all about you. One more time, make a declaration. It's all about you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Good morning, Golden Gates. Good morning, Golden Gates. Point your hand up and look at the Lord and tell him it's all about you. I love it because you can't see nobody else. Do me that one more favor. Look up in the spirit and say it's all about you. For the last time, one was for the Father, one was from the Son. This is for the Holy Ghost because he's getting ready to step up in here. Say it's all about you. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Tap the person on the knee sec next sitting next to you and tell him I feel the Lord. Yeah, look at the next side. Tell him I feel the Lord today. What a joy it is to be here. And certainly we want to welcome those of you that are watching via Facebook in the Bahamas and indeed all around the world. And as you are in the comments section, I know you are typing. It's all about you. Clap your hands and let's greet the angel of this house and the person of Archbishop. Ross Davis, hallelujah, we honor you, sir. Keep them clapping for Pastor Out There Davis and the entire leadership of Golden Gates World Outreach Ministries. We thank the Lord for them, and moreover, we thank the Lord for you. For those of you that are visiting us, this is Golden Gates, a place where God meets and touches people. First of all, we're still in celebration mode for Easter and the Lord being resurrected. If the, if the Lord is still resurrected in your life, come on, clap your hands and make some noise. Hallelujah. A lot of folks lose Easter by Easter Monday. But for those of us, when it really means something, he is still alive. He is still alive. He is still alive. And your praise should be still alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is he still alive? You ought to shout, yes, he is. I'm going to be so happy this Sunday we can take these masks off and release the sound like we really want to. And I promise you that Sunday is coming. It is coming. And when it does, practice with your mask on. Practice blowing right through the mask so that when you get a chance to take it off, you'll be able to lift the roof off with your praise. We had such a marvelous time out there on the park last Sunday. And the remarks was coming in, are still coming in on how blessed you've been and the people have been and really it's all about giving God praise. This is not about any particular person. This is about him. And when we put him first, when we serve in excellence, then God becomes glorified in our witness. Everything we do, we want to do it in excellence. We start on time. We look like we're excellent. We're smart. We're intentional about what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. 
Uh, clap your hands and celebrate Apostle Lee Watson, who is in the house. And Pastor Michelle Taft is in the house as well, sitting. Come wave at us, Pastor. All right, wave at us, Apostle. Apostle Lee, wave at us. Amen. God bless you. So we're happy to have all of these gifts. And certainly, uh, I'm getting ready to introduce our speaker. But before I do, on yesterday, we celebrated the life of the church organist in the person of Deacon Andre Bain. What a powerful service. Can you clap your hands for his life? Hallelujah. And witness among us here in the temple of God. And so for his family who is watching, uh, his beautiful wife, uh, Lady Philippa, the children, Ariel and Angel, and certainly to Deacon Arnef and Anita, the entire Bain Road family, we continue to extend our condolences. We believe that the God of peace will be your comfort. For those of you that are visiting today and you're here for the christening of your infant, immediately following the service, we shall be ushered into, actually we're going to do it in the front this morning, right after service has ended, we're going to ask that you just remain behind for a few moments and once the sanctuary clears in a few minutes after that, I will be here to bless your infant. So you're in the right place at the right time. There is a word from the Lord. Whenever that is announced, you ought to clap your hands. There is a word from the Lord. And so today, without further ado, we certainly thank the Lord for all that has taken place, the readers, the intercessory prayer, and the praise team. But the Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. Not only is there a word from the Lord today, there is healing in this house, both emotionally and physically. I would that you would open up your spirit. I do believe in the five-fold ministry gifts. And for those of you that are not familiar with them, the Bible says in Ephesians 4, 11, that he gave to them apostles, and prophets, teachers, evangelists, and pastors. So there is the office of the prophet. And while there are so many that have bastardized the gift, there are many that have used it for self-aggrandizement. There are many that operate in their spirit uh, and operate just to show people for all kinds of other reasons. I still believe that God has handpicked and selected a few prophetic voices that he has raised up in this hour. I want you to know Golden Gates, when prophets come to speak, I am very intentional with them. My interaction with them is very minimal. I know you want to be their friend, but I don't believe in that. I believe that there needs to be a safe distance between you and every prophetic voice. So the prophet that is coming to speak to us this morning, I have not spoken to him in at least more than a month. And that being because I want him to hear clearly from the Lord. I don't help prophets out. I don't give them a direction. I don't tell them what to speak. I don't give them information about the church. Because if you are who you say you are, then your gift is going to make room for you. I'm not the Holy Ghost. And I've been in so many churches where the pastor has told the prophet all the church business. So by the time he comes, you understand he's already spoken. I'm telling you before God, there's nothing. I'm, in fact, they asked me, what, do I want to meet him when he came this morning? I said, no, I don't want to meet him. Once he has met with God, that's good enough for me. And so today, I need you to open up your spirit make room in your heart. That's what praise and worship does. Just so you know, when we're doing praise and worship, it's so that you can clear out any clutter, any fear, any spirit, any blockage that may be attached to this whole weeks of experiences. Yesterday, something happened to me that has never happened right here in the church. Did you think I was checking for that? That's pushed aside. It wasn't anything that anyone did. The enemy tried to cause me to hurt myself. I shook myself off put some ice on my forehead and kept it moving because I got to open up my spirit for what God is going to do. You're in the right place today. From the Miracle Life Church, we're getting ready to experience the prophetic anointing of one prophet, Cleon Monroe. He is a man of God. And of course, you see some of his members are right here. And that's how you do it. Whenever you go out to preach, you take your amen corner with you. And we don't put the amen in the corner. We put it right in the middle. But I know, Golden Gates, you're going to be blessed because you believe in the sound teaching of the Word of God. This prophet, man of God, has spoken not only into my life on many occasions, 
He only comes around like biblical prophets. He don't stay around. They just come around when it's time. They drop the word and they go. We don't have a continuing friendship. We don't talk every day. Only when the Lord would have something to say to me that he calls me and speaks it into my life. By extension, I know you're going to be blessed. I would that you would stand to your feet at this time without any further ado or fanfare. Receive but the clapping of your hands and the opening of your prophetic mouth. The prophetic gift from Miracle Life Church, our friend and brother, Prophet Cleon Monroe. Come on, let's hear it for the man of God. Amen. Can we just all give God praise one more time in the house of the Lord on today? I, I believe that we can do just a little bit better than that. Come on, somebody, give God praise if you've got the breath of life on the inside of you. I promise you everything is going to be all right. I have discovered that as long as God is on our side, we have everything that we need. There may be great enemies, there may be great trials that be with us, but as long as the Lord that lives and breathes and survives, he knows our all in all. And today, I just want to speak to some people today that serve a risen Savior, that understands that as long as you give him praise, he is able to recognize your voice. Anybody's voice is registered in the heavens in today? Can you just lift your voice one more time and let's do this thing properly? Like we truly believe that the Lord has something to say to us on today. Somebody give him praise in the house of the Lord. Somebody give him praise in the house of the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. One more time give him praise today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a good God. Anyone know God is a good God today? Amen. I just want to tell you today, I'm just ex excited, amen, to come to you and bring the word of the Lord today. I'm just grateful uh, that the Lord, first of all, has seen it fit, amen, to allow every one of us to see this great day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, y'all, the wind is blowing. I don't know anything else. Glory to God. As long as God is with us, we got everything we need. Amen. Am I talking to anybody today? Amen. Praise be the name of God, and I'm grateful. Amen. To be in this house. To the angel of this house. Amen. To the one Bishop Russ Davis and Lady Davis today. Could you give God praise to this great man of God, this ministry team and gift to the body of Christ. Not only, amen, they are great gift to the body of Christ. Amen. I believe that to some people in this house that they mean just about everything. Amen. And I want to give God praise. Amen. For them. Come on. Give God praise in the house of the Lord. Also to the legacy that the Lord is uh, extending by this great, great legacy that is in this earth and released to the body of Christ. Amen. To the pastor that's been granted. Amen. Leeway to al allow the power, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding of God to go on to the next level. And I want to thank God for his life. Amen. In Pastor Trent Davis today. Give God praise for the man of God. I believe that it's the next generation. Amen. Glory to God, and I truly believe that the Lord has something, amen, for this body of Christ on today. And through the leadership that here, amen, we thank God for his great grace and his great power and his great strength that's in this house on today. I believe that we are ready for the word of the Lord, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, while you're turning with me to the word of the Lord, two portions of scripture, amen, I have, which is what the Revelation chapter number 10. While you're turning there, amen, would you just give God praise for my beautiful wife that is with me on today? Amen. Lady Monroe, praise God. God bless you. Amen. That's my little piece of heaven that is with me. Amen. Glory to God. May God, I tell you, there's no better gift the Lord can grant unto this preacher in this earth uh, than my little piece of cream in the coffee. Amen. Praise God. And I thank God for all, amen, of these leaders uh, and the members and the great people of Golden Gates Assembly. Give God praise for yourself finally. Is that all right today? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I brought a, a few of my uh, um, leaders with me in the house of God of Miracle Life Ministries. God bless all of you that are here. Amen. Praise the Lord. The book of Revelations, chapter number 10. I've got a great word for you today. 
Amen. I, 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 I intentionally, intentionally, by the way uh, of design, I'm going to release to you uh, my uh, scripture text, which is Zephaniah, actually three, uh, chapter number nine, uh, chapter three and verse number nine. But the Lord wants me to open up with you, first of all, Revelations 10 and verse number one. As soon as you get it, just shout amen. Well, let's read on today. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with the clouds, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. Verse 2, and he had in his hand a little book open, and set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth. And cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things. Which the seven heavens sing unto me, seal up those things which I saw. Mm -hmm. Seal of those things, uh, seven thunders uttered, and write unto them not. Verse number five, and the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swore by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that are therein are and the sea and the things which are therein uh, that are should be time no longer that there should be time no longer one more time that there should be time no longer one more time that there should be time no longer father we give you praise and glory we honor you for your spirit uh, in this house today we thank you for what is now being released thank you for the anointing of the lord that is in this place we ask you to show up, God. As long as you are in this house, we have everything that we need. We met you here, and we say thank you. Now continue your work. And I pray today, living God, that you'd release the fire of the heavens. Uh, consume everything that is not of you and release uh, that which is from you this day. And we thank you for everything that's about to be done. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody shout amen. Now on your way to your seats, could you just shout with a loud voice? Shout in the heavens this one thing that I've got from God, and that is everything is working in my favor. You may be seated on today. I'm excited. I'm so excited with a prophetic urgency to release this word uh, unto you today uh, that the Lord has given to me. Amen? This is the season, brothers and sisters, to recognize the importance of knowing the timing for things and the importance of unblocking also the flow of God's promises over our lives. We do this. When we do this, we do it by addressing the hidden issues uh, that have somehow managed to maintain or remain after the breakthrough has already come. God told me this morning to tell the people of Christ that are here gathered in this place that he's giving the grace to finish strong. There's a grace that the Lord is releasing upon your life and he said to tell every person under the sound of my voice, you are going to finish strong. You may have had interruptions, you may have had frustrations, but this new grace that's being released over this house is given to you by God. And it's a God-given grace to finish, amen, how strong the things that he began in your life. One of the characteristics of being a kingdom believer is that the fact that we finish and we finish strong. We don't just start things, we finish it. Why? Because we serve a God who is a finisher. He's not just a good beginner he is a strong finisher and no matter what the enemy has tried God told me to tell you you are in the middle of the race it may feel as if it's coming to an end but God told me to tell somebody that your greatest hour is still yet before you you have not seen anything as yet God is still in the miracle working business I don't know who I'm talking to but if 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 you're going to walk in the authority of God and display his attributes, you've got to finish. You 
got to finish strong. You, you got to make up in your mind that no matter what it takes, you're going to believe that your God will give you the strength to bring this thing to its completion. And I'm here as a prophet of the Lord to tell someone in this house, hallelujah, that the Lord said to tell you, there is a guarantee that whatever he starts, he's going to finish. Do I have a church in the house of the Lord? Brothers and sisters, you'd never be free in your spirit, uh, glory to God, until uh, you see what God starts finish. Uh, and in other words, you got to hear this word today. Make no mistake about it. Uh, as a messenger of, of God, uh, sent like an angel from the kingdom of God, uh, sent like an angel with the voice uh, of triumph with something surely that is a package from the heavens. Uh, the Lord told me to tell this church uh, that you were built to last you are not hallelujah a fly by night what's on you hallelujah is a trend setting anointing it's an anointing upon your life to make waves what's on your life the spirit of God has already spoken it in the atmosphere it's something that is going to keep the body of Christ in this hour why I'm releasing this word it's because the Lord says to tell this church that I'm in the middle of my greatest hour even for you says the spirit of God so on every level you got to hear this word great change is happening and great change is happening on every level and the registry of the anointing has shifted for you and God told me to tell the body of Christ to get ready because there is prophetic acquisition that's about to take place in your life there's a new order of protocol that's getting ready to take place. He said to tell the body of Christ that every dead season, every stale and dry thing that happened in your life, the time for that is over. This is a new season that you are under and you're about to experience the greatest hour that you have ever seen. So everything that was dead is coming back to life. The Lord is giving the vision, a voice in this hour, and I hear the Lord says to tell you that as I've given you authority to take the city, get ready. You're about to take the vision back. You're about to take reins of the beginning destiny that the Lord has spoken to be yours, and everything that you prayed about, answers has already left the heavens. And I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but the Lord says to tell you if the word belongs to you get ready because he's about to do exactly what he said why don't you jump to your feet and shout glory to God I come to talk to the church. Hallelujah, glory to God. Something unusual, something in the realm of the spirit is about to happen for you. And I came here to declare to somebody in this room that there is a freshness that's coming to your life. There's a freshness that's coming to the vision. There's a shift, a breakout. There's something coming, hallelujah, to your life. So God says to get ready for the new life that I'm pouring out upon you. It's new strength, new joy, new vigor, new power, new peace, new connection, new anointings, a new satisfaction. God said, I'm going to find fulfillment into your life. And today, this is a word for somebody to get into your spirit that the Lord says, behold, I do a new thing. All things are now passing away. Why don't you lift your voice and shout all things are now passing away. You're crossing over into something fresh. Somebody shout glory to God. It's important, brothers and sisters, uh, for you to buckle down and brace yourself uh, uh, because what's about to hit you, uh, you've never had before. Uh, you've never experienced uh, before. Uh, and you've got to get ready for it uh, uh, because glory to God, I hear the Lord says, uh, you're entering into a brand new uh, season. Uh, the book of Revelations 10, uh, I mean, begin to speak unto us in its latter end uh, that there should be time uh, no longer 
longer. In other words, uh, this is the prophetic word from God. Uh, there's no more delay. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, uh, that's the prophetic word uh, for Golden Gates even now. Uh, uh, you're about to speed up. Uh, your destiny uh, is about to pick up speed. Uh, things are about to manifest uh, in your life at a greater rate. Uh, I've been sent here as a prophet uh, to tell you this morning uh, that the delay is over uh, and you're getting back uh, all not only the things uh, that you prayed about uh, but you're getting it back with interest uh, am I preaching to the church uh, Psalm 56 and verse 9 says uh, when I cry out to you uh, then you make my enemies uh, to turn back uh, and I know because God is for me uh, or can I talk to the church uh, God said the very moment uh, you call for a father's help uh, the tide uh, turns uh, in your favor uh, and your enemies will flee uh, that's one thing I know uh, that it says God uh, is on my side uh, my brothers and sisters as a prophetic uh, uh, release unto you today uh, as we enter into the new season uh, I believe that we are entering into a new move of the spirit uh, a new rhythm uh, we're ready now seeing some things uh, it's a prophetic awakening uh, that's taking place uh, because God is gathering uh, his remnant in the earth uh, to release a prophetic sound. Uh, it's a harmonious sound. Uh, a sound that releases uh, the wind of change uh, once again. Uh, a sound uh, that causes mountains to move. Uh, walls to come down. Uh, this is the time that the Lord uh, is saying in this house, uh, it's time for breakthrough. Uh, uh, there's one prophetic scripture uh, that the Lord gave unto me for you. Uh, that Second Corinth Chronicles uh, 20 and verse 20. Uh, it says, believe in your Lord God uh, and you shall be established. Uh, believe in his prophets uh, and you shall prosper. Uh, that word prosper there in the Hebrew, uh, it means to push forward. Uh, it means to go over. Uh, it means to break out. Uh, whatever you're breaking out of, uh, you better hear the word of God. Uh, it's something powerful uh, because God God gave me the revelation as to what you're going to be breaking out of. You're going to be breaking out of discouragement. You're going to be breaking out of lack. You're going to be breaking out of setbacks. You're going to be breaking out of confusion. You're going to be breaking out of stagnancy. You're going to be break out of being stuck. You're going to be break out of the spiritual prison of never enough. And you're stepping into the breakthrough promise of the fullness of your destiny. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Lord sent me here to tell somebody now is the time to come into your prophetic promise. Can I preach to the church? Somebody lift your voice and shout glory be to God. I said lift your voice and shout glory be to God. Put your hands together today. From the day forward, uh, you are not going to have, I hope you're hearing me today. Uh, from the day onward, uh, you will not fail uh, to discern the moment uh, of your demonic resistance. Uh, from the day forward, uh, nothing will be able uh, to haunt your progress. Uh, from the day forward, uh, you will know that the Lord uh, surely is on your side. Uh, for the Lord sent me with a word uh, to speak to the people uh, because this is a significant hour. Uh, that God has predestined uh, and predetermined uh, from the foundations of the world uh, that you would be born to see this generation. Uh, you would survive uh, everything that you went through. Uh, we get so caught up uh, in the motions of being saved. Uh, we get so caught up uh, in the motions of serving God uh, until we just forget uh, that we just need to breathe uh, and thank God for survival. Uh, am I preaching to the church? Uh, they are demonic attacks attacks uh, that will come against the church, uh, demonic attacks uh, that will come against your life uh, to stagnate uh, and to destroy uh, our purpose. Uh, but when God gives you the grace uh, to last through uh, what somebody else died in, uh, you got to get an inclination uh, that somebody uh, to stop acting stuck up uh, and say to God be the glory, great things. 
Uh, somebody shout glory to God. Hallelujah today. Uh, I come to talk to the church. Uh, because God said to tell you uh, that he chose you. Uh, and nothing that the enemy sent uh, to destroy you uh, is able to kill you. Uh, oh, because nothing can kill uh, what God. God wants a life. I think I better say that again. I said nobody and no thing can kill what God wants a life. Why don't you point at two people, one to the left, one to the right, and say, neighbor, God wants you alive. I look at the one to the back and to the front and say, neighbor, God wants you alive. That's why the attacks won't kill you. That's why the attacks won't destroy you. That's why warfare ain't going to drive you out. That's why trouble ain't going to move you. That's why sickness ain't going to kill you. Because God wants you alive. And he's preordained you to be right here in this moment. And somebody ought to shout hallelujah. God is birthing in this house. Please forgive me, but the Lord is birthing in and bringing into this house uh, a new realms of faith. Uh, new realms of faith is breaking out uh, all over this place. Uh, and I declare a rhema word uh, over you today on this morning. I uh, don't mean to be making so much noise on uh, such an early morning service, but, but God says to tell the church, uh, you are activated uh, by the anointing of God uh, for the new realm that you're ushered in right now. Uh, and everything that's been out of alignment uh, oh glory to God uh, this rhema uh, is bringing it uh, back into uh, alignment uh, you need to look at somebody uh, and say I'm confident uh, that God will provide uh, uh, somebody hear the word of God uh, and no wonder the Bible says uh, it's better for you to be a doorkeeper uh, in the house of God uh, in the days ahead hear the word of God uh, we're going to usher in some things uh, that our generations uh, have been praying about. Uh, we're going to usher in, I don't know who I'm talking to, uh, this church uh, is going to see some things uh, that the bishops have been praying about. Uh, you're going to see in the days ahead uh, that as the intercessors uh, has gathered at the altar uh, and prayed a while ago uh, asking for the Lord uh, to usher in uh, a new level of glory. Uh, he says to get ready. He says in the days ahead, he says I'm going to cause you to know that what you prayed about it's coming to pass. And glory to God, people died in faith not having received the promise but you are going to be the generation that sticks your hands out when the enemy tries to block it. You're going to usher your hands out and say right this way, glory. Usher into the house of the Lord. Am I preaching to the house of God today? Uh, I come to talk to the church. Uh, God said to tell you today, uh, it's a new day. Uh, Psalms 1 to 26. Uh, it says, when the Lord restored uh, the fortune of Zion, uh, we were like those uh, who dream. Uh, our mouths filled uh, with laughter. Uh, our tongues with songs of joy. Uh, then it was said amongst the nation uh, that the Lord has done great things for them the Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy restore our fortunes Lord like streams in the Negev those who sow with tears shall reap oh glory to God with songs of joy those who go out weeping carrying seed to sow will return with songs of joy uh, carrying in the sheaves uh, with them uh, I don't know who I'm preaching to uh, but this is the word for the generation uh, and I'm excited uh, with a sense of God's urgency uh, because God told me to tell you uh, that the father is taking this church uh, to another level uh, to another realm uh, of glory uh, and everything uh, that you're building uh, you're going to build it carefully uh, 
and the very reverently uh, because when you build uh, this will not be the works of man uh, for you are on assignments uh, to do what God uh, has assigned you to do uh, and I believe uh, that God is going uh, to do something with Golden Gate's families uh, I believe uh, that God is going uh, to raise up uh, the next generation uh, of giant killers uh, I believe uh, that the devil is going to be in trouble uh, he was uh, he bit off a little more uh, than he could chew uh, he thought he was going uh, to be in trouble uh, with just you uh, for the trials uh, that he put you through uh, but he got another thing coming uh, he's going to be in trouble uh, with God uh, as a matter of fact uh, God uh, sent me here as a prophet uh, to tell you uh, that he's going to pour oil uh, on your children uh, he's going to pour oil uh, on all those uh, that share in the vision uh, God is going uh, to lift the burden uh, that you've been carrying uh, and you're going to be led uh, into new streams uh, carrying uh, a fresh anointing uh, you're going to be led uh, into a new stream of consciousness uh, and the Lord told me uh, to challenge you uh, that right now uh, on this early morning service uh, to tell Golden Gates uh, challenge your limitations uh, challenge your limitations uh, in other words uh, challenge uh, whatever limited you uh, whatever stagnated you uh, whatever restricted you uh, whatever blocked you uh, whatever hindered you uh, whatever immobilized you uh, whatever kept you in a box uh, because God uh, is going uh, to do the impossible uh, just for you uh, he told me to tell the church uh, that you want to beat uh, impossible odds uh, this year if you believe it uh, jump to your feet uh, and shout God uh, thank you for allowing us to beat impossible odds shout the way to God My brothers and sisters, you will know that the anointing, I've got about five or ten more minutes left, but you got to know that the anointing in your life, you will know when it reaches its peak, when you are able to do what you know you couldn't do before, then you will know that the anointing has reached immobile, its highest peak, and God sent me here to tell you that he's about to put you in a place of permanent provision. I can I better say that again. God says to tell Golden Gates that he's going to put you in the position of permanent provision. It's not just that God is your provider. Glory to God. But he is your Jehovah Yahweh. I think I better say that in a different term. Because Jehovah Yahweh is not just him being a provider for for you. Uh, Jehovah Yireh, you missed this. Uh, it literally is uh, that he is your provision. Uh, and, and what's the word? Because uh, whatever you didn't see uh, him do for you up until now, uh, he says you didn't see me do it uh, because I will become it for you. Uh, you all missed a word. Uh, uh, somebody got to get this in your spirit. Mm -hmm. God said whatever I don't give you or provide for you, I will be God enough uh, to become it in your life. I'm bad like that, says the living God. I mean absolutely everything that you need. So if you limit your provision to money, you're going to miss the entire Jehovah Jireh of your picture. Because he's more than money. As a matter of fact, he's able to supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Somebody shout glory to God. Uh, there's a major difference uh, between what God can do uh, and what God is. Am I talking to anybody today? The 
there's a major difference between what God can do and what God is and what he is. And a lot of us can do things that we may not want to do. But when I am sending someone your way, go to God. He said, I need you to know that the God that's coming to you, he can't help but do what he is. He says to tell the church, Christ is your provision. He just can't help it. It's his nature to provide for his own. Are there any God referring believers in the house of the Lord on today that knows that your God can do anything? If that's you, why don't you give God praise like you really mean it? I don't know who that was for, but in my last 10 minutes, I don't, uh, I don't want to bore you, but I don't, uh, I don't know who this is for, but somebody in this room, uh, God says to tell you, uh, you've been tired of being restricted. Uh, uh, he sent me here because you're tired uh, and you need to go to the next level. Uh, somebody's in a mess right now, uh, uh, but he sent me here uh, to tell you that he's going to get you out of it. Uh, he sent me here to tell you, uh, keep hearing the word, uh, keep resonating on his thoughts keep him strong in your spirit because pastor strength you know what I kept hearing in the last three days before I came here one word that the Lord said is for golden gates pastor the Lord says this one word that's been resonating in my spirit its word is Rehoboth I'm going to bring it to your ear mind your cognitive understanding in a minute he said Rehoboth Rehoboth. Somebody shout Rehoboth. Somebody shout Rehoboth. One more time shout Rehoboth. One more time shout Rehoboth. The Hebrew word Rehoboth, it means broad places. Uh, this name it's the name of three biblical places uh, amongst these three biblical places uh, it's a well in Gerar uh, dug by Isaac in Genesis 26 uh, and verse number 22 Isaac gave it the name Rehoboth uh, Rehoboth means uh, open spaces or mega large places uh, and in Genesis 3, 26 and 22 he removed uh, from thence it reads uh, he removed from thence and digged another well and for that they strove not. Somebody shout, strove not. So he dig the dig, dig a well, and it says they strove not, and he called the name of it Rehoboth, and said, for now the Lord had made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Ah, glory to God, brothers and sisters. This word of the Lord for you this morning, this will not just be another date on the calendar or just another 830 service. This may not be for everybody but what God has given to you right now is a divine opportunity and he said to tell you today that this is off. As of right now he has put you in a large place. God says to tell Golden Gates I've placed you in a and if you thought you was in a large place before this message, uh, you're just uh, gonna get double. Lift your voice, somebody shout Rehobo. Somebody shout Rehobo. I'm not just talking about a geographical location, uh, but it means uh, that the Holy Spirit uh, is going to help you with where he's taking you. Uh, somebody shout, God send divine assistance. Uh, oh, y'all ain't hearing me today. Uh, I come to talk to the church. Uh, God said, I'm going to help you uh, with where I'm taking you. Uh, but he says he's putting you uh, in a guaranteed uh, large place. Uh, Rehoboth. Uh, it literally means a large open space uh, but when you study the text uh, Rehoboth was not a large place it wasn't large at all in terms of the land or the place or the well that they dig it was not large at all but what the spirit of the Lord is saying to relate to someone on this early morning service what God is saying is that he's giving you a huge opportunity yeah. 
if you receive this prophetic word, it will mean different things to different people. But what the Lord is saying is that he's giving you more than extended time. He says, for those that can get a revelation uh, from this prophetic voice uh, on this morning, because some people uh, are watching the way that I preach. Others are looking at this prophetic figure. Uh, others are saying, where is this ministry? Uh, others are saying, who oh, isn't that that? that? Uh, and everybody doesn't understand that's a distraction from the devil for you not to receive your word uh, from the Lord. Uh, uh, but whether or not you believe it, uh, when I'm finished with this word, I'm dropping this microphone and I'm going back to my blessed place in my $90,000 truck, in my blessed house, and my big bank account, and my place where souls are saved and people are flooding to get there. I came here to release a word to the house of the Lord that has come from the throne of grace for this time, for this order, because your pastor is a man of integrity and he did not lie when he said he didn't speak to me at all he only gave an invitation and walked out the door and the Lord spoke and I'm giving you the word but the Lord is saying that he's tending a large opportunity for golden gates for you to usher in and seize back what the devil has stolen and everybody ought to stand and give him praise If you get this in its fullness, uh, glory to God, I'm in the last six minutes. Uh, but if you get this in its fullness, uh, you'll understand that the Holy Spirit says uh, you will never be the same again. Uh, why don't you prophesy to about three people around you, even if they don't want to talk to you? Uh, say, listen, your neighbor, you'll never uh, be the same again. Uh, uh, find somebody. Uh, yes, glory to God. Uh, because God said he's created you uh, to step into a new dimension. Uh, and it's going to revolutionize how you think, how you move, how you function. God says he's setting you up in a large place. Don't worry about what anybody said against you. Don't worry about what the devil is setting up before you. There's a large opportunity that's on its way. And if you perceive this large opportunity, you can walk into it. And the wells of blessings, the wells of deliverance, the wells of breakthrough, the wells of favor, the wells of healing will flow in your life and every strife and every trouble is going to be launched out of your life for I hear the Lord says it's coming out of your belly and your spirit that's why the devil wants to stress you out and distract you because this large place starts from small beginnings and I believe that your year is making a turn right now and today because of the spirit of grace it's going to cause you to begin to rise onto new levels somebody ought to just give him praise because you are on God's mind and there's nothing that the enemy can do about it shout glory to God Put your hands together, give him praise. Put your hands together and give him praise. And the power of God, and the power of God is going to work in your circumstance by the power of the anointing. I believe that the supernatural, something supernatural is going to happen for you. And the Lord's going to tell you, because you've been faithful, I'm going to do it suddenly. hearing the spirit say I keep I keep hearing the spirit say let the healing begin because Rehobos Shampatai because Rehobos is now taking place and it's deliberately coming from small places but by the time once it's done hallelujah it's going to end up large and I come to tell you that 2020 well will be a year of increase 
increase in the supernatural and you're going to progress beyond normal speed you're going to see that the Lord said to tell you you're going to see supernatural things with greater propensity than you've ever seen before even in your life I don't know who I'm preaching to today but in this house as the Lord lead it that's why you get to make up in your mind to do some ridiculous things because you're looking for God to do some ridiculous things for you and because you know how to move under the spirit of reciprocity that when you give something out you know God will send it back why because the Lord said when my word goes out it does not return back to him void did y'all hear that just now he said when my word goes out it doesn't return void. Listen, that word void there, it means incomplete. It means without fulfillment. It means without sufficiency of completion. Say, my word doesn't come back to me without sufficiency of completion. It doesn't come back to me incomplete. That means when God sends a word that he's going to enlarge you, when it leaves heaven, it's stuck on earth until it fulfills. Because it can't go back to heaven and make God out to be a liar. So I don't care who don't receive the word. The Lord says, oh, <laughs> He says it's there. And the only thing that's left now is for you to come in agreement with the word so that when it goes back see it's not until you come in agreement then the word leaves your life and on the way back to God fulfillment takes place oh my God automatically he says to tell the church you got to do some ridiculous thing you got to do the unconventional you got to go against the tide you have to trust God when I do things. I don't do it like man and stop looking for man's approval in what I say. Because man's understanding is too limited for what God is doing. And God will do some ridiculous things. And he will use some Hannah's and some Rebecca's. He will use some David's. He will use some people who are not accepted. I don't know about shy. You're the least likely to get ahead is what God will use. And he say, I'll do some ridiculous things out of that to show you that I am God of all sufficiency. And I can do exactly what I please. Um, I don't mean to be so long today, but the Lord spoke. Lift your voice and shout, do the ridiculous. he will surely bless you. Listen, there's a seed that the Lord wants you to understand that when you sow seeds into atmospheres, your seed itself is a promise to come. Let me tell you, the Lord says he's birthing out prophetic intercessors that will do exactly what God says he will do. And some people that are so ridiculous that no matter what takes place, you will hear what the Lord says. I hear, I hear the Lord speak today, this year, 2020, 2021 will be a ridiculous year. And I'm going to send my suddenness for you, says God. I hear the Lord says to tell the people of God, those of you who are tithing, please get them together. But to the rest of you, I want to encourage you right now. This has nothing to do with your tithing. I want you to hear the Lord. The Lord says, plant a seed on the word today. Plant a seed on the word today. A seed of $221. And hear the word of God. This will be the greatest season of your life. And he will bless you right in the face of your enemy. I want you to quickly move at this word. Those of you that's writing your checks, you can write them to Golden Gate, Cecilia, or however I think that a ministry can do this. It's all because I believe that you want to be a part of the number, the remnant that the Lord is saying this hour. Do not leave me out. I want to be a part of what you're doing. And I don't want to get left behind. I challenge you today. I know that they say, well, you know, COVID-19 is out there. Listen to me. I know some things are going on, but hear the word. God sent me here to tell you, don't let COVID-19 own you. 
You're people of faith. You own. And you command because the dominion mandate is on you. You take command of your atmospheres. Those of you that are writing your checks and you've been sowing your seeds, I challenge you today. If you're doing that, I want you to stand to your feet. Those persons that will sow into this house, this vision. And everything that you, you do, it's going to be building intentionally to build this vision, build this house. And your seed will change seasons, says the Spirit of God. And if you're writing... What an amazing prophetic hour in this service today. Prophet Cleon Monroe, you have blessed us. And I know for those of you that are watching, you want more. Listen, there's nothing like being in service, experiencing the glory and the presence of the Lord. And we know you feel it. We're so grateful that you took this time to spend with us today here at Golden Gates. Now, stay tuned for just a few more announcements that are coming your way. I'm Minister Lisa Bethel, and I'm so delighted that you had this opportunity to join us in worship and the word today. Here's some other ways that you can connect with us throughout this week. Join us on Monday nights at 8 p.m. for intercessory prayer with Archbishop Ross and Pastor Trent Davis. On Tuesday nights, we join with our new members in new membership class via Zoom. Thursday evenings at 8 p.m., Pastor Trent Davis hosts Bible study. You don't want to miss this. Our youth band rehearses every Monday and Friday evening at 6 p.m. We encourage all of our members and followers who have children seven years and older to join in whether you are musically inclined or simply want to learn an instrument. The Bay on Friday evenings, it's all going down. Talk shows, talent jams, interactive Bible studies, and competitions, game nights, here at Golden Gates every Friday evening, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. It is where the young people live. We're updating our data systems here at the gates. And so we encourage our members, old and new, Please to provide us with your current information. Please see our ushers after the service to fill and return an application form providing us with your date of birth, current address and contact. We extend our heartfelt condolences and remember in prayer the family of our late Deacon Andre Bain, whom we laid to rest yesterday. Our hearts and our prayers are with the Bain family. We also remember Pastor Strawn and his family in prayer on the passing of his nephew, Selwyn Strawn. Again, we lift you in prayer, Pastor Strawn. It's celebration time and we say happy birthday and happy anniversary to the following persons. Ivorine Johnson, Sister Deidre Johnson, Kelkara Demerit, Pastor Van Duro Woods Carey, Jamal Stevens, Deacon Courtney Green, Minister Janet Mackey, Devonia Cooper, Jade Humes, Lantashia Adderley, Deacon Deidreanne Arthur, Matthew Kemp, Rashad Johnson, Kevinique Coakley, Latina Hall, Kareem Cooper, Minister Enid Ambrista, Trevon Knowles, Lyndon Taylor, Dashanon Molly, Deborah Smith Watson, Stancio Curling, Dolores Adderley, Brianna Sweeting, Shandria Wright, Jakeisha Smith, Brother Sandy Smith, Dominique Bryce, Minister Lena Nixon, Roslyn Nixon, Samuel Lucas, Christy Ferguson, Dion Joaquin Jr., Peggy McKenzie, Akeel Adderley, Astaire Strawn, and Sharon E. Roll. Happy birthday! 
We say happy anniversary to Deacon Wilbert and Nadirj Lucas. They're celebrating eight years. Sean and Donnell Roll are celebrating 15 years. Shervin and Stephanie Monroe celebrating 25 years. Adrian and Ronick Curry, who are celebrating 27 years. We pray that your marriage is blessed with many more years to come. As you celebrate this week, we pray God's favor and blessings rest upon you and yours. We're godly proud of 11-year-old Chamari Pratt, who represents Queens College and won the inaugural National High School Junior Division Golf Championship. Congratulations are coming in from her parents, Marcus and Sherry Pratt, from her grandparents, her aunts, uncles, and the remnant of Grace Dance Ministry. Do well, Chamari. We are polling for you. You will find our church on the following social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. We encourage our members and followers to like and share our broadcasts as we seek to increase our social media footprint. To find us, type in Golden Gates World Outreach Ministries on Facebook and YouTube and simply type in Golden Gates Church on Instagram and just look for our logo. Our church has a WhatsApp broadcast chat and we'd like for you to be a part of it. Simply store the number 434-6770 in your phone. Again, that number 434-6770 to your contacts and send a WhatsApp text message saying add me to this number. Those were your news and announcements for the week ahead. I'm Minister Lisa Bethel, and on behalf of the leadership here at The Gates and my technical producer, Minister Scott, we want to thank you for listening, and we pray that your week is blessed and filled with favor. Have a good one. There are so many ways that you can be a blessing to us here at Golden Gates. One of the ways is by transferring funds from your account into our account directly through First Caribbean Bank. Secondly, you can bring your tithes and offerings here to the church between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. here at the church. Someone would be happy to receive your gift and speak a blessing over you. Or you can always join us directly here in service and bring your gifts to the Lord directly. The Bible says bring your praise and your gifts to the Lord. Once again, we're so delighted that you spent this time with us. Where does it go? We'll be back here next week in the will of the Lord with another opportunity for you to receive an uplifting word from the Lord. We believe in what God is doing in your life. Until then, do remember that we'll see you again right here in the will of the Lord next Sunday.